Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity, here to give you another general collective energy reading. Hope everyone is doing well this Easter weekend. Um, oh, housekeeping. Don't forget to like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video, share it if you think it resonates with someone else, and comment in the comment section. I appreciate and I do respond. All right, so again, I hope y'all doing well. Let's begin. Let's start off with our charms. Spirit, give me the overall energy for the reading. Eight ball, the money bag. Ooh. We got the earth. Uh oh, we got the warning bell. And what the heck? A bird in the hand. What? Okay, Spirit, what are we talking about today? What's this energy we dealing with? So, oh, okay, so we behind the eight ball and the previous energy, which is a vulnerable position behind the eight ball, is intuition, mystical wisdom, right? So think about that behind the eight ball. That's the ball, that's the goal, right? But that ball is the most vulnerable ball as far as points are concerned on the table, if you ever play pool. Now, ninety-four money bag, hoarding money, greedy, paying. Oh, somebody about. I was getting excited, but you know, I'm I'm respecting the creator of these charms. So I read that, and what it says is that hoarding money, greedy. Paying large sums. So this is giving me someone who is behind the eight ball and in debt. That is definitely not good. The earth is here. Fulfillment, achievement, completion is concern for Gaia. So there's concerns in this person's world. This is a warning bell. I already know that one. Uh, yeah, something needs your attention. Ding, 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 ding. I don't know where I am. We have a lot of do, uh, Dollar Trees and the staff because they wear so many hats they're not always at the register so a lot of the ones in my area literally have these bells and if you come to the register and no one's there they allow you to ring this bell to get their employees attention it's weird but that's what they do here so it's like someone something or someone needs attention right now and I feel like it's these money troubles. And I feel like some of these money troubles uh, stem from legal issues. Uh, 33. Bird in the hand. Appreciate what you have in gratitude. Yeah, okay. So that's giving, taking stuff for granted. I feel like somebody took their lifestyle things, uh, position. They took some. Ooh, ooh, excuse me, y'all. I'm about to burn up my stuff. Somebody is taking something for granted. And you know, when you take things for granted, spirit will get you right. You know, you may not want to face it. You might not want to deal with it, but you will be dealt with. It's just one of those things that uh, is unavoidable. It's like, like people always talk about karma. Certain circumstances, certain situations... Is like unavoidable. It must be dealt with. Like, and people don't realize that even if you don't deal with something now, you will have to deal with it later. I'll give an example. If you have a tenant uh, or you know of somebody who owes rent, and now I guess it could be. This could depend on where you are because every circumstance is different. But this is an example. The person decides, okay, they had a lease. 
their social security is involved, you know, their credit check was run, all of those details in order for them to get the space. And then at some point, there's a disagreement between them and the landlord or they stop paying, right? And I don't know, maybe they felt um, that they didn't want to leave and that the landlord was being unfair. Someone advised them, well, just don't pay your rent and you can stay there six months and squat, right? That's what you would think you could do because, I don't know, sometimes the laws uh, protect in different areas, will protect the renter longer in some places, not at all. Well, in cases like that, the person thinks, oh, okay, well, I can squat as well. I can stay here as long as I want and not have to pay anything. But lo and behold, that landlord is keeping a, a ledger. And that ledger can be brought to court. And then you get a judgment on you. And then it's hard for you to find a place to live. This is the kind of energy coming up here. Someone needs to pay attention to their circumstances. Maybe the tenant is holding on to money thinking, well, when I do go, I'm going to have all my money out of paper rent only to have to pay back what they owe. Because if you don't surrender the property, you still owe the money. So somebody is behind the eight ball, whether they think they are or not, and something is being brought to their attention that they might not have realized. Like, oh, I thought I was getting over, but I'm not. I thought I was playing a game, but now I'm really playing myself. And they didn't appreciate what they had because had they done, I don't know, let's just say they had were given time to, to move on and they didn't take that time wisely, they didn't have gratitude for their circumstances. That's just one. You can come you can um surmise your own circumstances, but you you understand what I'm saying, I'm sure, that a lot of times when you think you're getting over, you're really not. Because it'll come back to bite you in some other way. And you, you think you've gotten away with it. It's, you, you have it. I promise you. It, this ain't the day and age of getting away with stuff. People can't get away with stuff on camera or, or what they think is off camera. Somebody got a ring camera set up. Somebody has a, a street lamp camera set up. There's, there's always somebody or something watching. And when people think, oh, yeah, I've gotten, no. Guess what? Your phone records give you away. Look at, um, damn it. Okay, his name just escaped me. I'm just going to tell you the court case where the man, uh, I don't know why. I know the name that's coming to my mind is the wrong one. Dang on this redheaded dude. I think he's redheaded. All I know is, he killed his he killed his wife and I think one of his sons and the other son wasn't killed. <sighs> Murdoch? I don't know what his name is. All I know is he thought he was gonna get away with it. But his cell phone records told on him because even when you're not in use, your phone is pinging somewhere, trying to give signal, trying to get signal. And all they do is trace back where your phone was where was it pinging at the time of the crime and this guy was pinging because he was using his phone he was also i believe googling how to commit the crime like so somebody behind the eight ball also money is involved here so i felt like somebody got losses but I would have said, you know, maybe somebody did something to somebody else. But this being the overall energy needing gratitude tells me somebody was doing some ungrateful things. And and as a result of not being grateful for their for what they have, they're now possibly losing what they have. Ah, <sighs> come on. Or they better be grateful for what they still got. No crying over spilt milk type of energy. All right, spread them more, please. Yeah, lack of action. No new beginning. No start. No get up and go. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, somebody feel foolish. Okay, so somebody definitely made some bad choices. Because when I see the fool in reverse, um, it's not funny, y'all. But it I don't know why I get chuckles. Don't 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 mind me. But somebody feels foolish. Either for not taking a stand, not making the right choice. I'm feeling like they hit the ball in the wrong part. <laughs> That's what Spirit said. They hit the ball. Up. Yup. Oh my gosh. So this involves a relationship that they wouldn't let go of. They couldn't release it. They couldn't grow up with it. Or they couldn't let it go. It's like not releasing the apron strings. Clinging on to something from the past. Dang. And the lesson and the challenge is to release the heartbreak. Tell me more. It's very wild. And every card is up. Is upside down. Tell me more. Dang. Whew. It can't get no worse than what it is. Somebody feels weak. Dang. All right. So, wow. Somebody was about material possessions. And... I feel like they had received warnings um, in the past, but they did not heed the warning. I feel like the person who is experiencing this right now is probably coming to the understanding that they chose wrong. I think they're coming to the understanding, honestly, y'all. I feel like now they know. But Spirit says this person, whoever this is impacting right now. So if this is your person, pay attention because your person is somebody that has to learn the hard way. They cannot do what they want to do the way they want to do it. This person is severely stubborn, stuck. And I'm hearing possibly slow in that they have a challenge mentally. So they have may have maybe have mental health issues that need to be looked into. Um, but I'm hearing also that if you tell them go, they're going to stop. If you say stop, they're going to go. Like this person, oh, Spirit said a defiance disorder. I don't know if that's a real thing or just somebody made it up, but they might have something close to that. That this person takes the opposite path of everything. Damn. And this person is suffering because of it. They were supposed to release the things that hurt them, but yet they hold on to it. So something in their childhood with the Six of Cups is very detrimental to their mental health and emotional health. And they feel very weak to it. It's like an addiction, maybe. Why they feel so weak or it's just they succumb to it very easily. They can't release it. The seven of um, wands here. But the advice is to release this, this heartbreak. That's to let it go. The ten of swords, it's like it can't get no worse than that because it's in reverse. But the ten of swords, because it's, I feel like something's coming swift to uh, take take that over. To just, I heard annihilate, finish them. Ooh. Listen, um, collective. I'm sitting here with my hand on my mouth like, wow. Because the, the messages that are coming to me is like, I just had this conversation with somebody. That sometimes when you are good to people and people insist on doing wrong and you leave them alone because you say, you know what, I'm going to let the universe, I'm going to let God, I'm going to let, you know, whatever you call spirit, sort this out because I can't deal with it no more. By the time spirit is done with this person, they're almost unrecognizable, one. And two, you feel bad that they got done as bad as they were. But what you didn't know in the hidden energy is that 
this type of foolishness that you experienced with them, other people were experiencing too. Meaning, they didn't just do it to you. Whatever they did that's got them stuck or maybe whatever was done to them. I don't know. It's, it's a lot going on here with these little bit of cards. They didn't do enough to change the trajectory of where they were going. I feel like they were warned. This is telling me that they were warned. But they didn't listen. So now it is their turn. This is like, don't step foot in this. Don't put your foot in this. Don't try to help this person. Other than talking to them, if they, you know, I don't even know. I feel like just keep your distance with this energy because they need to experience whatever this is that they did. Spirit says spell work could have been involved, but there was some intention in what they did. There was some. Damn. I don't know if this is your karmic or your person inflicted by a karmic. All I know is somebody did some egregious things that they must be called to the carpet for. How many more spirits? And it all it stems from greed and ungratefulness. I just saw that uh, on a couple cards, uh, the temperance. So the temperance angel is here. Tell me more spirit. Charity. Yeah, they went the wrong direction. Oh, they want to come your direction now. Tell me more spirit. King of Cups. Oh, yeah. Now they're emotional over the choices that they made. Tell me more. <laughs> yeah. Ace of Swords are reversed. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Okay. Golly. Wasn't expecting this. Well, I never expect it. I get I never get what I want. Expect it worse in the cars. I'll be like, give me a good one. They'd be like, nope. I'm gonna tell you the worst part because you need to know. But um Okay, your person doesn't want you to know. They made a bad choice with this King of Cups on the fool in reverse. They don't. They will hold back their emotions just for you not to know how foolish they behaved. They know they made a bad choice. Can't help it now. They already set it in motion. They set everything in motion by their behavior. By going the wrong way, choosing wrong, doing the wrong thing. Then we got uh, the Ace of Swords. So there was a lot of lies and deception involved in this previous relationship that they had, that they went back to or that they just stuck with. I don't even think they separated from it, really. I feel like they stuck with it. Um, I hope this ain't you, Collective, because this is bad. Um, the I can't even get the word out. The Three of Swords with the Two of Wands. I feel like somebody even thought that this Three of Swords energy was their, I don't know, twin flame soulmate kind of energy, but they thought this was home, but it was not home. It was heartbreak. Somebody broke their heart. Now, their heart could have been broken from young, especially with this Six of Cups, because this is giving me way back when. So for a very long time, this is not, you know, whatever happened with them to them or because of them was because well i should say occurred uh, or dating back that's what that's the best way to put it. it dates back a long time ago it's not the last two years three years it's probably way longer than that so again it could be childhood or it could have been somebody who was a first love right now don't get me wrong a parent could be your first love and not in a sexual sense, but in that, I, you know, we first love our, our mom is like God to us because she sustains us and nurtures us. So is our fathers. Like, we look up to them. And if we don't get proper nurturing and guidance, 
then we tend to grow up a little messed up and then we got to find our way back, right? It's our responsibility to heal from those that may have harmed us. So that could be how far back this goes. For, again, it could be a first love type situation. Damn. And then you got the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Wands. So this person is still burdened because they're not, they haven't been grateful. They haven't you know, uh, like this person they never never stepped into a different type of energy. So even if they were done wrong in the past, right, somebody hurt them, they continue to hurt others. And then they don't show gratitude for those that possibly love them along the way. And I feel like if this is your person or a person that you know, those that try to love them, they are scared to let them know how they make they continue to make bad choices. They can't continue to go it with like proudly in the wrong direction. This person is facing depression right now. Because the sun is, to me is giving depression right now. But and weakness. They are weak. So this, you know, I need to, I'm gonna ask and gonna clarify like what can they do or what can be done or what's the next steps because a lot likely outcome this defeat, so your person, what did you, your person is at rock bottom. You know, the Ten of Swords in reverse could reveal that, you know, things are over. Like, I, I just feel like this can't be more over. If this is your person and this is what they experienced, not what they did to someone, I still feel like they made bad choices because they did not remove themselves from what they thought was a good home or a good situation or good relationship. And they, it, like whatever is happening with them can't be more over. And, but it still weighs on them, right? So they haven't healed. They're far from healed. They may be in a bit of depression. Um, I think the only thing that's going to get them into a new space is gratitude. Like maybe for those that are in their life. So again, if this is your person and this is the hand that they were dealt they need to now appreciate you or those that love them. You know, this is somebody that has to change their attitude and, and, and decide that life is worth living and that they want better, they have to do better and do different. But they really got to release this burden. To me, they still holding on to a burden that they should let go. Like, they, it's like, I'm going to hold on to the pain. I'm not going to release the pain. I don't want to release the pain. This person wallows, wallows and lives and thrives in this pain. Which leads me back to the mental health thing. I just feel like mentally you cannot be okay, okay living with pain. Or literally choosing it. Or, yeah. That's the best word I could say, choosing it. You know, like you're not choosing to leave um, or let it go or go heal or whatever. You're choosing to stay in it. But they, but they got so much pride with this King of Cups here. He don't want to let anybody know how much he hurt. So he walk around pretending he normal when he not. He's not normal. He ain't, he ain't got no normal emotion right now. Matter of fact, he's emotionally unavailable. So he'll sit there and look like, nah, I'm good. Everything's fine. Be cold-blooded, ghosting people, disrespecting, you know, relationships. All because he made a wrong choice and he won't admit that he made it. So he still hold on to this, this burden. I, you know... You have to be a little mad or, and I don't mean angry, like mad, like not, not 
within your mental capacities, you know, in a, in a healthy mental capacity to stay holding on. This is my likely outcome position. This is somebody holding on to grief, regret, to shame, to fear, you know, whatever adds up to these ten of wands. They're holding on to it and they, they're like, this is my my pain. I, I want this pain. I don't, I don't want to let no pain go. I'm going to keep my pain. My pain makes me feel like I'm supposed to have it. Can't say good because nothing about this is good. Nothing about it is good. This sun is in reverse. That's this person... I don't even know if they fighting uh, depression or they succumbing to it. Because I feel like with the seven of the wands there, they got to be succumbing to it. At this point, like depression is like all over them. It's probably in the way they look and the way they talk and the way they act. You know, like they couldn't hide this if they made a mask that was beautiful and shine like the sun. Still couldn't hide how miserable they are. This person is miserable. You hear me? And ungrateful. And when they feel like the fool, I feel like somebody made them promises of success. That's why the money bags is here. And they're trying to hold on to that promise. That's one of the wands. So they holding on to promises. They holding on to promises. They're holding on to trauma. They're holding on to um, misery. They're holding on to disappointment. They're holding on to shame. They're holding on to guilt. They're holding on to regret. They're holding on to sadness. They're holding on to uh, broken promises. They're holding on to debt. You can multiply these and they're holding on to it. Oh, I don't know, y'all. Your person, this person is like, they need help. They need help. They need a lot of help. Because your person has themselves in a mental prison that they don't need to be in. I feel like whoever did this to them plays with them like prey. You know, I feel like if they let them go, they would be like, so I don't care if you go. And they really wouldn't care if they went. But since you're here, I'm going to keep messing with you because you're here. You ever see, I, I saw Dr. Romney say that. And I've seen cats do this. but and, and my cat does it with her fake mouse, right? She'll take the mouse and she'll play with it, play with it, play with it, play with it. And Dr. Romney was saying that um, cats pay, play with their prey to wear them out for the kill so that they disarm them so that when they go in for the kill, it, it's too tired to harm the cat. That's the rationale. Now, I don't know if that's real or not, but that was the rationale she gave. And I feel like whoever is done as far as harming this, this, this person, and I feel like it's a masculine with this King of Cups, they don't care if this person live or die. They don't care if this person is in their life or not. And if they are, they're going to take every opportunity to break their heart. Because this person won't release it. So this is like one of the most toxic bonds you can have. Because somebody is hell bent on destroying. You know what this reminds me of too? Um, now that I think about it. Angela White, who, was, who used to be called Black China. And her mother, Tokyo uh whatever she called herself right and so black china used to be well known for being friends with the kardashians uh an ex stripper had a baby by i think future and then by uh was it future or asap one of them not asap i don't know she had, she got a child by a rapper and then she got a child by rob kardashian so she has two children and she had a show, a reality show for a little while, and then she did her OnlyFans for some time. Well, Angela decided to change her life. And her mother, K 
can't stop talking about her, can't stop bashing her, can't stop. She don't have nothing to talk about unless she's talking about this girl. She all over the place with venom and praying against her. And I feel like Black China is trying to heal. That's just Ten of Swords in reverse. She's trying to heal and release the swords. I'm just using her as an example. This does not mean that the, I'm I'm not claiming her as this is her reading, okay? But for me being a following what was going on when she had her reality show, uh, as much as I could see of it, because I think they changed networks or something, I don't know. But I saw a good amount. I saw the mother manipulate during the counseling session, you know, when they were supposed to both be healing, she was just trying to manipulate this girl more. You know, really, she really wasn't get, trying to unpack enough. She was crying crocodile tears, but she still want to hurt her child. This person wants this person so bad. Black China is trying to heal. Now, I don't know if, put it this way, Angela, not Black China, is giving up the burden of her mother being in her life yet because this woman is on the internet spewing she's trying to talk to me get her get me to talk to the grandkids and i don't want to do it i don't know if that's true or she just talking mess because when you heal a lot of times when you heal you want to heal the bonds or the problems that you face with other people and so you want to go release the burden by saying hey you know can we talk about this you know you hurt me when or you did this to me when and blah 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 especially when you're talking about a parent and but tokyo whatever tony i think whatever her name is anyway she doesn't want to heal anything because she wants to continue to manipulate her daughter nothing is ever good enough for her in my eyes from what i've seen and what i've seen people comment so i know that we are on the same page many of us um if the girl gave her a car she's mad because it's not better than the car angelo drives you know it's like if i don't know angela drove a mercedes and she gave her a bentley it still wouldn't be good enough i want a Rolls royce it, it's just she gotta say something that's the kind of energy i get this person experiencing but yet not releasing it somebody who would just talk about you to everybody harm you your reputation make you look bad every chance they get then behind closed doors try to make you feel good a little bit just to keep you on their side enough that you don't completely hate them but then turn around and tear you down some more it's a lot of mental manipulation in that. I feel like this person would need this this King of Cups needs to stop trying trying because it's not working at this point. Trying to act like it's real, like everything is fine and they're not feeling like a fool, but they are. The fool is in reverse. They feel wrong. They went backwards in life. Or stuck. I don't know, but is not the, the the ace of swords is here in reverse that person this person's money is is messed up their world is upside down they keep getting warning after warning after warning like <laughs> dark night of the soul i don't even know if it, it just gives it justification what this is because this is a very very dark space and this is uh, uh, over time calamities and drama. And all these burdens this person will not release. And they need to drop all of them. The only thing they dropped was their defenses. And they let the sunshine die out. It's cloudy where they are. They can't see that they can't see the truth. They can't or they can't handle it or something. I don't know. But they're not. This person is, your person is not doing well. I'm just saying. Whatever this is for, they're not doing well. They're in a very dark space. This stems from, like I said, a very long time ago. Let's see. Oops. 